Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to start by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Rekha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutation to all the brothers doing this work in truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Um, this is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse... I'm going to start at verse 14. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that's a very important statement that Paul made because, you know, when you being a young brother coming in, the, you know, learning the truth, you know, coming up in the faith. You will you you see you know you will see that who you're learning from, and you know you know you know it's just something that you just have to think about continuing things which thou has learned and knowing who you learned them from. That's like somebody teaching you how to how to drive, and you know who taught you how to drive. Like somebody teaching you how to walk. Well, you were you a baby, you probably don't remember. That's why I can't use that analogy. But uh, it's like somebody teaching you. You know, at, at your job, you know, training you, you know, how to do this and how to do that. You remember who taught you. That's like your father teaching you how to do this and how to do that. You know, because the, the elders are like fathers to the men, you know, the young men in this truth. You know, they are considered our fathers, man. You know, but like I was saying, man, knowing who you learned those uh they are spiritual fathers fathers uh knowing those things you know who you learned it from you know that's just a clear point because you have certain people in this world you know who are waxing you know they 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 just they just hate the apostles and the doctrine that they're pushing but really it's not the apostles it's that they hate it's Yahweh Shah that they hate man but you know the spirit of Yahweh Shah is on those men so without default those men will be persecuted because the spirit of the Lord is on them man you know the spirit of Yahweh Shah is supping with them so with that comes you know everything that Yahweh Shah suffered man you know persecution betrayal you know all those things Yahweh Shah suffered and those men who had the spirit of Yahweh Shah gonna continue to uh, suffer those same things that Yahweh Shah suffered because if we suffer with him we will be glorified with him and I don't want to get to our topic but this is verse 15 and that from a child that has known the holy scriptures you know because the men the men that come into this truth they come at a young age you know and when you come into this truth you are basically reborn and you you are a little child now you know because Yahweh Shah made that statement, you know, he if you want to follow me, you got to be reborn. You know, not going inside your wound, your mother's womb, and coming out again. It's saying reborn in the spirit, man. Huh? So that's what that was talking about, you know. But, um, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation. So the scriptures are able to make you wise, you know. And that wisdom will ultimately lead you. If you follow that wisdom, it will lead you to salvation, man. It will. Through the faith which is in Hamashiach and Hamashiach. So that, so that faith is something that's very important. This is verse 16. All scripture, scripture is given by the inspiration of the Most High and is profitable for doctrine. So for all you people out there that are saying, oh, man wrote that. Oh, that's the white man's book. You know, oh, man wrote that book. Of course, man wrote the fucking book, man. But you don't understand that the, it was inspired by the Most High. The, the Yahweh inspired them. He put this, his spirit on them to, to write the things that are written in this book, man. You know, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and in righteousness. So that's why, they, that's why all these things are in the scripture. Everything that is in the scriptures are there for a reason. You know, everything that is there is there for a reason. It's for profitable it's, and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correcting somebody, for correction, like that just, just said, for instructions telling you how to do things in righteousness. So it's instructing you in the righteousness of Yahweh. This is verse 17, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So that's the point, you know, so the men of the Lord can be perfect. 
Because that's what we striving for. We striving for perfection in the sight of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You know, that's what we doing, man. We striving for perfection for the Lord, man. You know. Um. So with that, man, real, it was real quick, man. So with that, I'm gonna say sh shalom.